what's really changed recently is the scale of the data sets people have um, and also how important computers are in, in being able to handle that data. So I think a lot of data science and a lot of the methodologies have been around for a long time but what's different now is that businesses have really acknowledged the importance of our people just dedicated to working out what to do with it. Um, so there's always been people who are kind of marshalling data and it used to be quite quick to get kind of data towards kind of maybe business, business action. But what you now need are armies of data scientists to actually help understand what you're meant to be doing with data. So I think it's a bit of a buzzy word. Um, I think maybe it will evolve and stop calling it data science, but really it's come about because there's a need for people who can think and work out how to use the data. Not just use it, but how to use the data. I think... You know, AI is quite a, you know, it's a, it's a big term. We don't like to talk about artificial intelligence and what we do. We like to actually talk about augmented intelligence. So the idea is that we think there's lots of places in the kind of investment management process where humans are quite good at being able to understand the data and interpret the data. Um, but then there's lots of other places where machines are quite good at being able to kind of work very quickly through large data sets once you set them up with the right rules. So we like to think about augmented intelligence and how you use the humans for the right bits and you use the computers for the right bits. And for now, I think that's going to be just nailing that is going to be a real great breakthrough and I think we're a long way off having kind of sentient AI kind of investing for us. There are actually plenty of women who do kind of quite quantitative subjects at the, you know at university. Um, it's not it's not 50-50, but there are quite a few. And then you see them kind of dropping out of quantitative fields as, as they kind of as it moves, um, particularly in towards finance or higher up um, the career ladder. I think having you know more role models. I mean, it really helps visibility. Seeing people in a role, people that you relate to, it really it really does help. It's very subtle. It's a kind of an effect you don't you're not necessarily massively conscious of. But I think. Also, I think the data science world really does lend itself quite um, to people who are, um, are happy to be driven by data and by logic and by reason. And actually, there isn't, you know, I think one of the things that can happen is that um, um, some areas of finance can be driven by quite big personalities and can be driven by. Um, um, maybe less uh, of a rigorous process, um, whereas there's something really, really unifying and um, flattening about a process which has to be driven just by logic and reason and data. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, everyone should be able to have a fair voice in that kind of setup. So I think it should be a field that attracts, attracts anyone, um, and so there's no reason why data science should end up not looking um, like it represents our population. Um, but yeah, we need, I think we need role models and we need people to be, be visual. Bye.